Hello everybody and welcome back to Casual Gamer Oz as we move now into round 14 of our first career on F1 2017 with Toro Rosso driver Ben Waterworth. I am your host Ben Waterworth and we're about to go into the Singapore Grand Prix. What happened I hear you ask though in Monza? I qualified 8th on a wet track and finished 3rd on a wet track. I accidentally overtook Kimi Raikkonen and didn't mean to but I did and held on to it. Actually set the fastest lap of the race too and scored my very first podium in F1. 2017. We're now here into the Marina Bay Street Circuit and a history lesson in terms of F1 2016 and the two career modes you watch me do. 17th and 10th, my two qualifying positions and my highest qualifying here of 10th. Uh, highest race finish of 6 and funnily enough, I've never crashed out at this track considering it's a street circuit. You would have assumed I would have. But it's a wet qualifying and uh, we'll see how we fare here under lights and I'll tell you one thing, this is the first time I've done a Night Singapore Grand Prix on F1 2017 and check out the reflections there on the Toro Rosso. Obviously it's a beautiful livery, livery on that Toro Rosso with the chrome finish and it definitely suits the underlights here in Singapore. Gorgeous if you don't ask me, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, I did a bit of fiddle around on a night race in Monaco uh, uh, with an F2004 and that looked incredible. We might do a separate video for that at one point just to show that beautiful car off again. Obviously, we crashed the F2002 in our last Invitational race, but we won't talk about that. Uh, now, I, it's interesting how they have Monaco, obviously, at night now as kind of a, a mode. Oh, God, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, I thought I was going in the wall there. Um, but I actually saw another video where it was Singapore during the day, which is a weird thing uh, to think that would be a different thing, but it looked actually really nice too during the day. So uh, there's just a little side note I thought I would add. Uh, and it'll be nice with the uh, the night race modes. Obviously, Monaco at night's a good thing, but make all the races night mode available. I'd love to race around Albert Park at night, or Montreal at night, you know? Oh, this is in the wall. This is in the wall. Yep. Well, what did I say before that I've never crashed out of Singapore before? That time around, I just completely uh, outbraked myself coming on the bridge. And uh, where am I? There we are. Watch this, slid straight into the wall, just lost the back end, boof. Yep, that was always going in the wall. Well, I'm going to be last. Yep, we know. It means I can fit a new engine. There's a slight positive, so uh, we can maybe do that. Give ourselves a bit more power here for the Singapore Grand Prix and hopefully have a dry race from, um, what was it, eighth on the grid to dead last again. Uh, so the third time in the last four races I've been last on the grid. So, disappointing. All right, let's let's uh, let's move forward. Let's, uh, I should also mention, I've got a new rival. I didn't say that before. Espen Ocon's my new rival. I do like that with the rivalry system this time around. They don't make you just repeating the same rival over and over again. They give you a new one fairly quickly, so that's a positive. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. Let's get uh, into race day, and let's do that now. Okie dokie. As we get the slow loading screens. Probably my only real complaint about this game are the slow loading screens. A lot slower than past games. But uh, other than that, so far, F1 2017 has been pretty darn good. So we're powering through our first career mode here. Looking like we will stick with Toro Rosso for the next season. Should almost have enough points to do an upgrade soon. We might have a look at that. Uh, look at my reputation after crashing out. Red Bull wanted me, Williams wanted me, Renault and Haas. They're just so bipolar, those teams. Uh, all right, let's fit ourselves. Uh, should be probably our last power unit we can fit too. We're not going to get the penalty for it. Let's do this. Yep, we'll take her up to number eight. Why not? And you can just watch me fit those into this and give ourselves this extra power in Singapore. Done. All right. Do we have a dry one? Do we have a wet one? We want a dry one. We would love a dry Singapore Grand Prix. Yeah, sixth place in uh, 2016 Season 2. So uh, then 19th in my very first attempts. I've never even finished last here, even on the two races I've done. But again, I just jinxed myself by saying I never crashed out, and I crashed out. So uh, <laughs> we'll see how we go. We've got a dry one. Yay. Let's see. Now, Vettel owns this circuit. 
They'll have to put Vettel on pole here, and he'll have to win this. Yeah, there he is. Hamilton in second, one thousandth of a second behind him, one hundredth, I should say. Uh, Raikkonen in third, Bottas fourth, Ricardo. They're always in fifth and sixth, Ricardo and Verstappen. Massa, Grosjean, Perez, Magnussen up in tenth, out qualifying Grosjean, I think. Um, Hulkenberg, uh, I've lost the track here. Signs, Ocon, Stroll, Van Dorn. Palmer, Verline, uh, uh, Ericsson, and myself. Cool. All right. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's do Singapore, folks. Here we go. I've got the inside line. Let's try and get our sixth consecutive race finish. And we are underway under lights. As we make our way up here, can we find a bit of a gap. Ocon's going to close the door, so I'll just back out of that one there. Alonso gets uh, feisty. Now, I'm going to go off track here. That's not the way to do it. I didn't overtake anyone, so I won't have to wield any, yield any positions. Should be able to make a few up here as, uh, oh, Alonso decides that he wants to keep that position. Fair enough, Fernando. You're entitled to do that. I'm going to try and go behind the uh, slow McLaren, and we'll have to go around the outside of him, which of course means that we get the inside coming into this left-hander here. Make our app to 16th and we can take our route around Palmer there and also take our rival in Ocon. Now he's going to sneak on the inside of me there is Esteban. Oh, I spun him. Sorry, Esteban. Now I'm going to get a penalty for that, am I? Oh, no, I didn't. Well, welcome to your new rivalry, bitch. <laughs> Clean racing back in Belgium and uh, sadly this time around I say, Esteban Ocon, uh, you are going to go into the wall. I did not mean to do that. Uh, that corner, that, that coming off the bridge corner where obviously I went to the wall and qualifying, you slide a lot more into that one than you do in previous uh, seasons. I'm guessing it's just the speed that you take into it um, is obviously faster than previous seasons. So you're going to have to remember that and uh, remember the slide coming into that. Now, we've got our dear friend Lance Stroll here, who in uh, two Grand Prix of chasing Lancey, we uh, fucked up in Azerbaijan and got him in Belgium. So uh, that's our history at the moment with the Canadian. Would have gotten him in Azerbaijan. Vettel leading the race, that's good news. Uh, would have got him in Azerbaijan had I not binned it. So uh, hopefully we seem to have a bit of pace here once again that we can uh, catch the young Canadian as we uh, gun for six consecutive race finishes. Something that uh, on Casual Gamer Rolls I've only ever done the once nearly just ended that right now by putting my foot in it. Points are not going to happen today, but uh, as long as we're ahead of 16th, that's where the team want us, uh, we'll be satisfied with that. I just want to finish the Grand Prix, impress some uh, teams out there, get a few development points as uh, we set the fastest opening sector. We should uh, have enough development points, I feel, to be able to upgrade uh, the power unit heading into... Sepang, so uh, that shall be a slight positive. And uh, oh, Palmer's racy against me there. Didn't really uh, anticipate that uh, the car behind me was in a position to uh, get me. Obviously, aerodynamically, you can see this uh, Toro Rock's going to break a little bit earlier here. That is still slidey into that corner. Um, the Toro Rosso, good. Aerodynamically, just it's, you can see here the power, not brilliant. As uh, Lance Stroll in the Mercedes once again pulls away from me. I'm not even going to put it into rich mode. Whoa, 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 whoa. Goodness me. How did I hold on to that? It's lost me a lot of time. Palmer's right on the left of me as we come into the tunnel. No, no, no! Two out of three chasing Lance Stroll. I bin it. And again, it's a street circuit that I bin it at. In all fairness, there's probably two occasions there that I probably should have binned it. So, um, yeah. Anyway, for the first time, I crash out of Singapore. And uh, that breaks my race finishing streak. So, there you go. Bit of uh, carnage. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoops. Bit of carnage going on there in the tunnel. Uh, let's just, can we see this angle here of me crashing in the wall? That would be nice. Coming through here. Oh, we're already there. Oh, I've hit Alonso. Anyway, we'll retire. Thank you. Yeah, right. Yes, we know. We don't have to retire, but we do. It's casual game of fucking laws. Um, 
<laughs> usually use flashbacks, what can I say? Um, all right, as we saunter off into the distance with Ranger Photographer trying to take some pictures there, you see McLaren going in the pits. Please, Vettel, please, Vettel, win the race. Vettel, win the Grand Prix for me. Come on, Seb. Yes. Well, at least him or Kimmy did. I'm going to say it's Kimmy. Oh, there's a headless. Headless Vettel. Headless Vettel. What? What's happened there with Seb? He's got his head back. He had no head. Did you see that? Headless Vettel won the Grand Prix. <laughs> well, we don't usually uh, watch the podium, but I'm glad we did. Headless Vettel, ladies and gentlemen, won the Singapore Grand Prix. We're going to take a look at the beginning of this, and uh, somehow Sebastian Vettel won this race without a head, and it just popped up again to him on the podium. Uh, <laughs> that was fascinating. Headless bloody Vettel. There you go. All right. Oh, just uh, had to back out of that move there against Alonso. And again, just getting ever ragged with my uh, open lap skills there. And ahead of Van Dorn, at least. I'm going to shove one up the inside of Alonso at this point. And do I make it stick there? I can't remember. I'm all over the back of a Renault. No, that's a sign. Sorry. I'm looking at the wrong person. I'm all over the back. There we go. That's how you overtake a McLaren in Singapore. God, that cars look beautiful. Anyway, that was just a headless Vettel. Uh, headless Vettel wins from Hamilton, Raikkonen, and Bottas, Ricardo, Verstappen, and Massa. Grosjean, excuse me, Perez gets some points, but not enough to get me back, I feel. Uh, and Magnussen, I should really look at that replay of me spinning out um, uh, Ocon, but we won't need to see that. Championship, Hamilton 29 over Vettel. Vettel closes that gap slightly. Raikkonen, and Bottas, Ricardo, Verstappen, Massa, myself, Perez, and Grosjean. Uh, he gets up into 10th place. Constructors, no change at the Western Front. Ferrari closed the gap back to within 11. Uh, Red Bull in third. Williams for Cindy Toro. So Haas, Renault, McLaren, Sauber, no points. Let us move on, folks. Um, Malaysia is next. A circuit I like, but you know I'm going to bin it. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Casual Gamer Oz. Once again, my name is Ben. Like, subscribe, comment, everything else in between. And we'll speak to you next time on Casual Gamer Oz. Good night.